what you're known for that's what i forgot to say teach what you're known for so if you have not watched the last video i was talking about what kind of classes can you teach today um i, I want to tell you about how to find the perfect venue and where you can teach your classes but i just wanted to say that last bit which i forgot to say in the last video which is you can teach what you know and then also you can teach what you are known for so if you are known for a particular kind of cake or a particular kind of you know technique or gingerbread houses or cookies or whatever or everybody talks about the, your buttercream or whatever then you can consider teaching that as well so today finding a venue now how hard can it be to find a venue not really but then you need to have your eyes open when you are looking for a venue and you need to be looking out for some certain things so this is what i want to um show you or explain or teach or you know let you into the secret of how to find a great venue for teaching your class first and foremost no venue is perfect i said yes finding a perfect venue but really no venue is perfect some might be perfect but they might be too far from you or some might be perfect but they might be too expensive or some might be just right you know but something might not be right so what all in all you at um, one of the first things that you need to think about is that you need to just be flexible see what you can what can you live with what can you um adapt to and all those kind of things now speaking of venues there's two things that you can do you can teach from your home or you can hire a venue so teaching from your home just make sure that you follow whatever health and safety code you know just make inquiries about that but most of the time teaching from your home especially if it's a, a um, occasional thing is not really a problem you know but i'm not a lawyer i'm not a whatever so if you need to get a health uh, um, safety inspection or uh, your or some certification or whatever that's fine but um so teaching you from your home is an option even if you are teaching from your home these are some things that you still need to look at these things that i'm going to tell you about when i talk about venue i'm talking about both the location or what the whole building looks like as well as what the classroom itself or the place that you're going to use as your classroom looks like and what you're looking for so talking about the whole place places where you can look for um a venue would be your local community centers your local um church churches or synagogues or whatever sometimes those places have um um halls to hire you can google venue for hire another place that you can teach would be like libraries there's a farm near me which has some halls to hire there's like a bouncy castle place which has um, a soft play center which has places to hire so pubs restaurants you never know so just keep an open mind and you know the most common things would be community centers and um church halls because most of them would have some kind of kitchen which is usually up to code or up to health and safety standard but keep an open mind about other places that you can think about libraries for instance um classrooms of of schools school actual schools like primary schools or secondary schools that kind of thing so anyway so back to the location so the location of the venue that you're looking for it has to be convenient for transport it has to be convenient for parking so those two things tend to be like a what's that word deal breaker for people who want to come to um, your classes and um, how accessible is it for transport how accessible is it for parking so those two are quite important also you want a venue that you can pay per hour you don't have to go and hire a place where you have to go into a long contract where you have to pay per month or whatever i've tried that and it, it doesn't work so that is pay per hour or pay per day so that's another thing you're looking for you're looking for um 
also accessibility so convenient for you if there's stair, stairs you don't want something that has too many stairs um lifts that kind of thing toilets those are the kind of things to look at for um the building or the the venue in as a whole now for the classroom there's essentials that you want to have either they already have them there or some they will allow you to bring them in so in your classroom you want to have a sink this is almost like no non-negotiable the worst or the best i i would say would be to have a sink next door so um, we had a we used to teach in a church hall and the kitchen was right opposite the hall in fact there was a hatch in between the two and you could you we, we could actually um just you know go to the sink wash your hands uh, wash your your tools and that kind of thing and you know the kettle and all that kind of thing so a sink not negotiable kettle not negotiable microwave depending on what you're teaching but most of the time not negotiable so kitchen sink kettle microwave if you're teaching at home you would have those at home if you're not then you might need to make sure that your venue has or is it will allow you to bring them in and plug them in another great thing for to look out for which a lot of people and i've also made that mistake of not remembering is storage you don't want to be dragging your tools and your materials up and down I've, I've i've suffered that and sometimes in fact sometimes you finish a class at 10 and two hours later you're still tidying up because you have to carry everything that you brought to the class and carry it all back home so if you can find storage or you know be being creative like there's this um set of drawers those plastic drawers that you can say oh i would like to leave this here for whenever i have a class can you just put it in a corner for me or do you have a cupboard i can use or do you have a a, 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 a under the stairs or somewhere i can store some things so that is very important storage so in conclusion when you're looking for a venue even if you are thinking about using your own place think about all those things as well for instance if you find a venue where um there's no parking you need to be able to look into that on behalf of the students and say okay we don't have parking so it's advisable that you come by public transport or we don't have parking but there is a parking nearby where you can have to pay and this is how much you would have to pay to park for this number of hours so giving your students that option but at least you've given that you you've looked into the parking situation in whatever venue that you have so um be flexible be willing to adapt no venue is um perfect you know look at venues in terms of costs i would say favor a venue also that's close to home look for a place that's close to you nearby 10 minutes drive 15 minutes drive two minutes drive five minutes walk all the better you know just fi favor a venue that's close to you i've i've taught in both types where they are far away and nearby and i'll tell you that the nearby places you find that there's so many times when you actually needed to be close to home uh, especially you know because of what we're doing and sometimes you might be a mom or you have a family or that kind of thing and you might need to, you might have forgotten something at home because there's so many moving pieces when it comes to teaching a class